Hello grade 11, let's try this one now. Question number 3. The following balanced equation represents the reaction that can be used to prepare ammonia gas in the, in the laboratory. 2 ammonium chloride plus calcium hydroxide goes to 2 ammonia plus calcium chloride plus 2 water. Now that calcium hydroxide is what we use to make um, lime water for the lime water test, just out of interest. So, and then yes, ammonia, um, that thing, which we will learn about next year in the Haber process. Okay, so let's look at this calculation. If 80,25 grams of ammonium chloride react with an excess of calcium hydroxide, what mass of calcium chloride will form? So obviously now, the ammonium chloride has to be the limiting reagent because they said they've got an excess of calcium hydroxide. So the calcium hydroxide we can ignore, but we do need to find the mass of calcium chloride over here, which is on the other side of the reaction. But that doesn't matter because we know that the balanced reaction is the keys to the universe. So the first thing we have to do is take what we are given, and we are given the mass of ammonium chloride, and we are going to turn it into the moles of ammonium chloride. So let's go, the number of moles of ammonium chloride will be equal to, write the formula every time, M over M, okay, and due to my limitations, I'm saying M divided by M, but you get the picture. So we know the mass is 80.25, and we're going to divide it by the relative molecular mass. Look, I found it over here earlier. And then we get out our trusty calculator, and you always check your teacher with her calculator, seeing as it's not her favorite thing. Okay, I get here 1.5 moles of ammonium chloride. So the next thing we have to do is we have to find out what are we looking for. We found out what we're given, and now we want to use the mole ratio, but we only want to use the mole ratio for what we are looking for. And we are looking for calcium chloride. So we need to take the mole ratio of what we are given using the coefficients from the balanced equation. So the mole ratio of ammonium chloride to calcium chloride, okay, and we need to state this mole ratio because it carries a mark. So how many ammonium chlorides do we have? We have two ammonium chlorides. How many calcium chlorides do we have? We have one because those are the coefficients from the balanced equation. But now we have 1.5 moles of ammonium chloride, which means we have x moles of calcium chloride. Now remember I said you can do that cross multiplication thing, but I'm also going to say 2 is to 1, so the x is going to be half of 1,5. So frustrating when it removes my tabs. So x is going to equal to 1.5 divided by 2 which mental arithmetic tells me is 0, 0.75, so I hope I'm correct. So now we've found the number of moles of calcium chloride over here, okay? Now what we need to do is find its mass. So in order to find its mass, we need to know its relative molecular mass, and then we know from here M equals NM, M equals NM, Write the formula every time, 0, 0,75 times 111. Okay, so calculators at the ready. I get 83,25 grams of calcium chloride using the balanced equation and knowing what's the limiting reaction. Now it says to you, what volume of ammonia gas will form at STP from 80,25 grams of ammonium chloride? So this 80,25 and this 82,25, they're the same. So this calculation over here, where we found the moles over here, is going to work for the second half as well. So we need now to only look at the mole ratio I wonder where I can type this. It will have to be down here. The mole ratio now of ammonium chloride 
because the balanced equation is the keys to the universe in doing these calculations. The ratio of ammonium chloride to the ratio of ammonia, and you have to know that NH3 is ammonia, and if you don't do that, I want to chase you away. Okay, so my coefficients are two ammonium chlorides to two ammonia. So my ratio here, you have to write it. They two is to two, okay? And so because they two is to two, you would think that you don't have to write it because if a ratio is two is to two, then um, let's move this all onto the next page. If the ratio is two is to two, then everything's it's the same as one is to one and you think you don't need to do it but if you want to lose the mark go right ahead but i'm telling you you need to do it because you need the mark so here's the mole ratio is two is to two so if we had one and a half moles of ammonium chloride we will produce one and a half moles of ammonia now if we go back up to the question it says what volume of ammonia gas will form at stp so here we're using avogadro's law and we need to use N equals V over VM, which I'm going to write as N equals V divided by VM, because that fraction thing is just trouble. Okay, so now if you don't know this, you need to go and get out your, what's that thing, your data sheet, but VM is 22,4. So V from this, you will get that V equals N times the molar gas volume, which is going to be 1,5 moles times 22,4, which is the molar gas volume. So let's work this out on our calculator. 33,6, and my unit is, my unit is, cubic decimeters because it asked you for your volume and vm is given in cubic decimeters so this volume is also in cubic decimeters and there you go there's your answer all finished